Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Quad Remesher add-on to retopologize this head over here uh, just in few seconds. And we should see and take a look at uh, some results and the compare between manual retopology and uh, retopology using this add-on. First things first, you should install a Quadrimasher add-on because it's going to be displayed uh, when hitting E in the side panel over there. Then to install it, we have uh, to install two files or two, or two folders in, in zip file. Just uh, you, you go over here, references. Preferences, then let's see what you have here. So, when the add on is uh, installed, go over here, search for quad remesher. It's over here, then enable it like this. Refresh, go back, let's hit N to display this uh, side panel as shown here. We have the quad remesher at the bottom of. Uh, of this uh, menu over here we have the panel for this add-on it's set to language it's english you can select your uh, language we have the button remesh it button also we have the quad count uh, for example if you want to remesh it or to apologize this uh, mesh and reach this uh, number of quad count 5000 also the adaptive size you size you can play around the adaptive size quad size settings like this and use vertex color if you want to use vertex color also we have the, this section over here for edge loops control you can use materials check uh, if you want these two op options use normal splitting Take hard edges by angle. Also, you can add symmetry by checking uh, either of uh, these axes. We can also reset settings by clicking this button over here. Face maps to materials. So let me show you how to remesh it. You can you should select your mesh as shown here. This mesh is sculpted using blender so just i'm gonna be clicking on remesh it and the retopology is finished uh, as shown here like this you can select the mesh uh, created by remeshing using the quad remesher add-on as shown here in our tutorial so just I want to compare between the mesh retopologized and the sculpted mesh and see how the edges and the faces and the, the body count is going to be uh, it's going to be set on uh, both meshes of this mesh. So tap into edit mode like this, and as you can see here, we have this mesh is retopologized. It's great add-on but sometimes uh, we have a lot of issues over there you should be should be set should be set uh, using hand but uh, anyway it's a great add-on and also the edge flow edge flow uh, it's uh, not uh, very 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 perfect and uh, you can compare uh, in between these meshes, we have the sculpt meshes that uh, that uh, we tried to retopologize, and the retopologized mesh, and you can compare between these two meshes as shown here, and you can see distribution of the different quads and the faces as shown here, but the each below it's uh, not very very good and. Should uh, should do some uh, things by hand and adding some details by hand, 
and searching for some issues it's not very perfect because as shown here and you can notice that we have lost some details here for example uh, on the nurseries and these eyebrows over there and some uh, important details uh, sculpted on this mesh doesn't exist on this mesh we have lost some details for example uh, on the ear the details over here and over can see it better and also for the lips this add-on just uh, we can say that it's uh, pretty good to help you retopologizing but uh, doing retopology by hand it's uh, so better and much more better than do it using this add-on